This conference will now be recorded. Hey guys, this is Naveen here. <clears throat> Welcome back to Naveen Automation Labs. So, uh, so far we have seen a lot of features with respect to WebDriver IO. Today I'm going to talk about how can you execute a particular test suite, how to create a test suite. Just like uh, in Java TestNG, we used to create testng.xml and multiple test runners we can create. So let's say I want to execute only uh, home page related test cases or any specific test cases. So no need to execute the entire test. So how to create a test suite for you, right? Just like in testng.xml, you can give, okay, these are the test classes I want to execute. I want to execute only, let's see, two or three classes. So let's say I want to execute only alert test.js or blaze test.js. So how to do this? So for doing this, what I'm going to do that you have to create test suites over here. So what I'll do first, let's see, uh, I have to change, make some changes in my configuration and, uh, and my package.json. So in my package.json, first what I'm going to do that uh, I'll go to my configuration over here. And in this particular configuration over here, you have to create a suite over here. So I'm going to create a simple suites is a tag like this. Okay. In this particular suite tag, I have to give my suite name. So let's see my suite name is, uh, I'm giving, let's see, element, something like this. Okay. Elements is my suite name. You can give any name and then you have to put a square bracket over here. And in this particular elements, what you have to do, you can simply give where exactly your suite files are available. So you have to give the path of that. So for giving the path, what you have to do, let's say I'll go to my test folder, right click on it and create one more folder over here. So let's say this is my uh, elements folder. And in this particular elements folder, I want to execute only let's say element actions, test.js having these three test cases are available. So I'll move my test.js, this element action dot test.js in this particular folder. So let's move it, drag and drop it over here. And I'll go back to my config.js and here we have to give the path. The path we have to give something like this, go to test directory and under test directory, we have elements and under elements, whatever the files are available, uh, let's see, start dot with a JS extension that you have to give, right? So let's see, this is a suite I have created. Now the same suite entry you have to make in your uh, package.json. So what I'm going to do, I'll just go to my uh, package.json. I'll go to my script section over here. So here you have to give inside the script section, just press comma, and then you just need to write your uh, action name over here. Let's say I'm giving elements like this. Elements colon in double quotes, you have to do dot. Okay, you have to go to your node modules and then slash dot bin dot wdio dot forward slash wdio dot confort js. Right, and then you have to give hyphen hyphen, sorry, hyphen hyphen suite and whatever your suite name. Sweet name. So I'm giving suite name is equal to elements. Okay, like this. So this is the configuration guys you have to give. And uh, okay, and this is the, let's see, package I've created under this particular package or folder I have created, I have written this particular element action test.js. And you have to go to your wdio.js and you have to give this particular suite entry over here. Now what I'm going to do that uh, we will uh, run this and let's see what happens. So how to run a specific suite. So you simply write npm run hyphen hyphen suite and whatever the suite name that you have given. So suite name I have given elements. Okay. So npm run suite elements. Now let's run it and you will see that browser is getting launched and the specific test that element action.test.js having three tests over here. It will be executed and it's perfectly working fine like this, right? You can see that uh, it worked fine. 
one suite is there and uh, perfectly it's absolutely working fine over here now what i'm going to do that uh, let's see i'll put alert test.js also over here inside this particular elements folder so now if you execute it once again you just create the console same any uh, npm run suite elements it's having two test files right two test javascript files so let's run it and let's see so perfect it's running like this in parallel mode so one suite is having the another browser and second suite is having the second browser and this is for my alert handling you can see that so for every suite it will launch a separate browser and it's absolutely working fine you can see that two suites got passed over here you can see the proper console two suite got passed over here everything is perfectly fine and you can see the console over here like that right so like that you can create multiple suites also you can create so how to create multiple suites or in a single suite you can put number of files over here and you can execute in a bundle now let's do one thing let me create one more suite so let me do under this particular test folder i'll create one more folder right click on it and new folder let's see my folder name is this time um let's see uh weights right so all the weight related test script i'll be writing over here so i have three weight script over here one two and three and then i'll just uh put it over here inside the weights folder now inside the weights folder i have given now i'll go to my wdiu.js and here before that i'll go to my package.json and here i'll be creating one more uh suite over here so we'll just put a comma and uh, now this time i'm giving let's see any name which i'm giving weights and this is my weights uh, suite name run with weights like this right so that's all and now i'll go to my wdiu.js so now this time i'm already having one element suite so what i'm going to do comma i'll put one more suite over here like this and now this time I'm giving a suite name is wait right weights and test folder inside this particular test folder you have weights star.js and then save it now what are you going to do you simply write npm run hyphen hyphen suite instead of elements you simply give weights so whatever the files are available inside the wait folder it will be executed so let's see Okay, so you can see that browsers are getting launched. Three suites are there, so ideally it should have three browsers. And this is the third one. And all the test cases one by one should be perfectly working fine. So this is the last one. Remember we created weights for this, perfectly working fine. And it will be closing the browser and everything looks good, except maybe some, some issue is there whatever the reason behind it maybe some test got failed waiting for zero to shut down gracefully that's fine so test got passed you can see tests are getting executed but one failure is there maybe just because of some reason okay that we can do it later maybe some sync issue or whatever <clears throat> that you can ignore it right so you can see that okay out of three two test cases got passed and one got failed whatever the reason is this so like this you can create multiple test suites over here please right now um sometime what happens that uh, you go to your let's see wait for enable test dot okay exit that perfect wait until also is perfect and element action test dot js so sometime what you have to do if earlier if you remember that we have given the require over here only something like this dot dot pages blaze meter dot js sometime what happens that okay in Visual Studio Code, it's not able to understand that okay, where exactly your blazemeter.js file is available. So you have to give the complete path of your blazemeter.js. So for importing, you just give the complete path where exactly your blazemeter.js file is available. So you simple, this is my file link. You simple uh, right click on it and uh, copy the path. And you just need to copy this particular path over here. Okay, in your 
uh, element action dot js, and here you have to give the complete path over here like this. Simple copy paste. Same thing I have done it for alert test dot js. So this is my alert page dot js. For importing, you have to give the complete path over here, right, guys? And then whatever the suite that you want to execute, you simply execute that particular suite like this: npm run hyphen hyphen uh, suite, and then wait. And if you give elements, then it will execute the element suite like this. Now, if you don't want to give, you can directly write npm run and you just give the suite name. So let's say I'm giving only elements. So if you don't want to write hyphen hyphen suite, you can write directly npm run elements also. So let's say it's working or not. So yes, the browser is getting opened two times. I mean, two browser in parallel, one is for element, action.js and one is for alert.js, right? So it's perfectly working fine, let it execute, okay? And it's done, okay? So because in element.js, uh, we have two uh, test files that are available, that's why one browser for this guy and one browser for this guy, right guys? So like this, you can execute the complete uh, suite by giving the suite name over here and remember this particular command you just need to use either npm run the suite name or you can directly execute npm run hyphen hyphen suite and the action name whatever the suite name that you have given make sure this entry is important you have to give the entry and you have to write under test folder go to weights folder and star.js this is a regular expression you have to give Star.js means whatever the files are available under weights, execute all these classes. So like that, you can create multiple uh, folders, folder structure you can maintain properly, and then you can put all those uh, test files, respective test files in that particular folder and simply execute them, right? And in your package.json, guys, you can create multiple uh, scripts over here like this, okay? So this is a sweet script that you have to enter. The tag you have to enter over here, elements, and one is for weights like that you have to create. Okay, so this is very important. This is just like testng.xml. You can create testng.xml one for sanity, one is for uh, regression. Same thing, you can do it over here as well. You can create two folders. Let's see, one is for regression, one is for sanity. And whatever the regression test you want to include, you can create, you put inside the regression folder and one is for sanity folder. And you simply execute whenever it's needed, okay? Tomorrow you want to execute it only for sanity, you just execute the sanity suite like this. So simple, you have to, oops, sorry, like this. So simple, you have to come over here and you simply write sanity. So sanity related test cases will be executed over here like that. Simple. So this is how we have to execute suites over here. Right guys. So that's all for this particular video. It's a very small thing, uh, but it's very important. You can, because when you design the framework, you have to use uh, these kind of things. So that's all for this particular video, guys. And keep learning and please implement some scripts. If you have any issues, feel free to let me know. Thank you so much, guys.